Nothing enhances the ambiance or aesthetic of a room more than good lighting. Your home's source of illumination sets the tone for your space. This week, we're going to explore the ins and outs of DIY lighting. Suspended lanterns add an interesting dynamic and are a wonderful way of creating a more intimate space. This orange paper lantern really made our kitchen cozier. Paper lanterns come in a plethora of colors, shapes, and sizes. You can find plenty to choose from at pearlriver.com or at the aptly named paperlanternstore.com. Hanging your own pendant lantern is easy. You can find the cord at a local hardware store. Position your pendant over the focal point of your room at the appropriate height, not too low. Just screw small hooks into the ceiling to suspend your cords. Be sure to use energy-saving light bulbs and power strips to turn off when not in use. And voila, you have created high design on a low budget. For more info, check out my blog, Nest. I have a lighting section for you and a full green guide. Good design is all about details. A simple light switch cover replacement adds a nice touch to any room. You can find some rad examples at Robot Candy and Taddy7. Some of my favorite sources for lovely lighting are Dutch designer Tort Bonche and his magical paper cut pendants, Adam Frank for these beautiful oil lamps, Honeysuckle Creations for these killer vintage slide shades, and my all time favorite Etsy shop, Side Dish, with this great owl lamp. And when we return, more enlightening tips and projects. This cool DIY project was recently submitted. this old lamp that my grandmother gave us and it's fallen apart and we have a pretty colorful room going on here so we've decided that we're going to take this fabric and turn our lampshade into a really funky 70s inspired lampshade. We're going to start by ripping this stuff off. It's going to take you a while so you might want to unhook it. So now we have all the fabric off and there's still some string and some glue and a little bit of the fabric that we couldn't get off. I'm just going to take what girls know as a nail buffer and just kind of dust back and forth in grain with the fabric and the glue. Every lampshade has a line in it. That's how they've put it together. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that as our spot. secure them in place right now and I'm just gonna cut. Now keep in mind that you want to keep probably about a half inch to an inch extra on the outside so that you can fold and glue inward. So now we put the boy to work and we make him do the ironing. So now you want to flip up your fabric so that the, the side of it that you want showing is going to be facing downward. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Squirt it on the inside. Careful, you will burn yourself with the hot glue if you don't give it a minute or have thick enough fabric. Now you're just going through and doing the same idea on the bottom. All right, now we're gonna clean it up because it's not the most clean. So we're just gonna go around with a razor blade and lightly pull away at the fabric. This week's quick tips. To save energy, be sure to use a power strip. To keep cords clean and organized, use twine to tie them up. And for easy identification, use colored dot stickers to match the electronic to the plug. In a nutshell, do away with harsh overhead lighting with a collection of vintage and new lamps, and cut down on wasted energy when possible. Remember, style and compassionate living starts at home. <laughs>